Hello guys and welcome back. Hello. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Am I gonna see Gibraltar fall now? I I mean I guess. I, what the <laughs> heck? Like, you have troops. Hey, troops everywhere. You um, gotta stop getting them. Gibraltar's quite a good base, so if you take that, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I I guess. I just need to be able to get all of my troops. Nope. That didn't work. Did not. Now, for some reason, I can't grab all of my... No, I have nine submarines, if that helps. They, they can't leave where they are, but maybe they'll help. <laughs> now, we're going to take Rotterdam, no issues. It's, it's green now, they've lost loads of troops. You'll take the port, you'll garrison all the coast, and they won't get back. Yep. Simple. Real simple. It's Japan, and they've got battle plans all over the place. What the? They've even got plans going to South Africa. What the hell? They Actually, I think that might be Italy. It, it looks be. like it's, you've actually got two plans to take over some islands and stuff. Alright, that makes sense. My bad. Sorry, Japan. It's not your fault. You're still kind of stupid, but sorry, Japan. You declared war on the Soviet Union. Or was it the Soviets? Declared war on them. No, ah. I think they declared the war. For some reason, I cannot move. Oh, the... Uh, Spain is... Oh, you know what? Spain is not even in the war yet. Oh, oh, that explains it. Yeah, that explains quite a bit, actually. Oh, no, no. What's going on? They're fighting the Soviets. But that won't merge our wars. Wait, yeah. the Spanish? The Spanish are fighting the Soviets, yeah. But why? Oh, there's Gibraltar. Good. Well, they would have been called in by Japan. Oh, right. Okay. Question, why isn't Italy in it either? Unless they are. They might yeah, be. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> There's um, several past this fight in the Soviets. Alright then. Okay. So you are getting submarines. Should I even bother getting a navy? I mean, it, it feels like it doesn't even matter at this point. Oh, look. What? I, I'm a tactical genius. I'm a genius. Remember that little province in Romania I gave away to the Chinese guys? Yeah. Spain is using it to invade Romania. <laughs> okay, great. Still, I'm why did you... If you would have taken it, they would have used it f as well. I mean... No, they wouldn't, because we're neutral. They can't attack for our land. Oh. So now the Spanish can attack into the Soviets. And the I Soviets can't attack into see. Spanish. That's great. Unless they get up to that province. I which give you that. That is actually... But I don't think you thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> I will not believe that. I blatantly did that as all on purpose. Oh my god, 95, <laughs> please. Just let me take it all over. Yeah, I'm having the same issue in Bordeaux, but 87. 97, you get in there. Dink, yeah. you get in there. It will happen, one day. One day. Oh, Spain is offering me men. Oh, Do I want them? awfully nice. I could use them. I actually know how to use them, so I could. Whoa. Okay, there it goes. Whoa, 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 they just sent me 20. Yeah, they sent me 22 as well. Ho, 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 where even are they? They're all over the place, that's the thing. Yeah. That is quite a thing indeed. I know there's summer over here. Well, Spain, looks like I've got a whole new division of your people. Just for the other 17. Please don't say Africa. They didn't say... They did say Africa, okay. Yeah... Not that many, though. Where's the other five? Just people are just all over the place. I mean, I appreciate the extra men I could put on a front line somewhere. Which just gets to the point where this is weird. 
Yep. I'm gonna hunt down every last man. It could have like given me mechanized as well, stuff I could actually use, which I don't have. That would have been great. Yeah, I literally cannot find us. Oh, there's there's two more. I'm still losing three though. Where are they? I'm three men down. Let's play spot the Spanish or Spaniards. Where are they? Spaniards. There are three divisions of Spaniards somewhere on this map. Where? Somewhere on this map. If they gave him over his one whole division, that would work. Oh, they got, yeah, they have got some mechanized. That's alright then. Something I can actually use as a bonus. Okay, well, off to the Soviet front with you. In case the day ever comes. It probably will come eventually. One day. There needs to be an easier way to find these last three men. Yeah, this is... I don't know. I, I like the idea of expeditionary forces, but it's just even more troops I'm going to have to deal with. So, I don't know. I think it's just too many. 20 was too many. Especially when half of them I can't even... When some of them I can't even find... <laughs> yeah. They're just stuck in Africa. <laughs> There's five troops here. Uh, no, they're Austrians. Mixing up my flags now. You know what? I'm just going to use them to garrison stuff. <laughs> Why not? Um. Less free manpower, you don't have to waste, so. Awesome. Yeah. What happens? United Kingdom announces Balkan di diplomatic initiative. Okay. You're preparing We've already got the Balkans. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind We've of. We've got it. Yeah, We've I got know. It all. It's just well, really... Greece is still there, I guess. What are they thinking? They're not yeah. thinking. Should I go for rockets? What you should do is boost uh, support for fascism in the Soviet Union. You should totally do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd rather do that in the United States, actually. But the Soviet Union, we could get a good friend out of them who would fight alongside our Japanese bros. But aren't they in their own faction already? Not if you force a nation outside of them. If you force a um, coup inside of them, Oh, they okay. won't be in a faction. <gasps> Interesting. Oh, we could do both. We could do the Soviets and the US. Yeah. Boost party support in both nations and eventually that'll be of some worth, I'm sure. US, though, is hard. We can't even get men over there to support them if they did bang out the Soviets, though. Yeah. Those darn Soviets. Well, I've got so many guns now, I just need more other stuff. Well, at least you've got your, your Netherlands now, so you can plan against the GB. Yeah. What does it say about paratroopers? Do you need air superiority? Yes. Do you have air superiority? No, but I have been building quite a lot of planes. I don't know how many I have right now. Um, okay, I don't have many. Wait, what? Why do I only have... Yeah, 907 planes you have. Huh. That's GB has up to 7,500. Yeah. So... But they'll be all over the place. Yeah, I know. Guess. I mean, I, but I'm just still surprised because I have actually been building for quite a while now, but... I guess it's because I ha we... have no rubber, that's the problem. What if we attacked through Scotland instead? Go from Norway to Scotland. 
Yeah. Um, but I guess Denmark and Norway would be your stuff to take. Oh yeah, I won't be able to name an invasion because I won't have any ships over there. Damn it. Turkey, why are you blocking my ships? Maybe when I have a stronger navy than the Turks, I'll be able to fight them, I guess. Get them out of the way. With my seven submarines, or eleven submarines. Right, what do I need? Soft attack. Hard attack. Ah, yeah, soft. Oh, I forgot the, we missed the old idea thing. No, national focus. Oh, I, I have a national focus pick. I picked it. Ah, well, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we finish him off? How? So... Oh my god, I don't know. All my African forces I'm going to make into one unit, because I think I can. Yep, all four of you. You are now the African division. What you are going to do is you're going to set a front line up against Syria and you're going to take it whether you like it or not good stuff right this guy's stuck on an island being a bit of a dick he's just stuck on an island why do you give me a troop stuck on an island seriously because he can't move them all the things to do. Why give me a guy stuck on an island? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Greece is going to become fascist and join me. It's going to be great. So excited. Nice. The whole entire 22 division army is going to be like, yo, we're here now. <laughs> yo. Alright, I think I got every port covered for now. Except this one. Just one. Mm hmm. But yeah, it's gonna take it's gonna take a while before I'm actually gonna be able to uh, attack the the British. How long of a while do you think? I I mean, it, it really depends on how quick I can produce planes, and the fact that I have no rubber is not helping. Do I have rubber? I doubt it. And if so, I'm probably already trading you for it. Um. Have you built the things that make rubber? No, I haven't, but I guess I should, yeah. Yeah. Should Do I have... I don't have any rubber. <laughs> no, no, no. What I have is everything else. Whoa, Belgium's really mounting the defense down in Africa. Oh, really? Yeah. They've got a whole line of Belgians out. Italy seems to have stalled. Hopefully if I take over Syria, that will help out a bit. Doubt there'll be anyone there. At all. Do we want the Turks on our side as well? Uh, yep, definitely. I'll boost their party popularity and maybe they'll join at some point to try and stage a coup. It'll take a long time though with only me. If we both did it, it'll help a lot faster. Yep. So many guys in the Soviet Union. But they're not as important. They'll probably just fail. If I stage a coup, it cost me 22,400 guns. It probably wouldn't do much. Although, actually, I don't really want to have the Soviets as my friend. I want to take over the rest of Germany, because it looks hideous. They won't be your friends. Okay. They'll, they'll spawn an army, which will fight 
and you don't have to join. It doesn't have to join our faction, and we can eventually fight it. But it'll just be more in fighting the Soviets. They'll lose divisions. They'll lose fleet. They'll lose land. They'll lose factories to fight okay. themselves. Well, that's good then. It helps. If only just a little bit, it helps. Why are there so many South Africans in in uh, Russia? They're just lining the borders. Same as in Germany. <laughs> and I'm failing to take over. Syria. I could probably take Damascus though, that would be a great help. Excellent. It's probably got a load of factories on it I can snag. Absolutely terrific. You're just concentrating. Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm trying to garrison this because I see so many things, um, you know, always military factories sabotaged, and it just, it's so frustrating. <laughs> Kill it with fire. I have so many things in France. Six military factories in Ile de France are destroyed. This is this is not good, and I hardly it doesn't sound I can, good. Yeah, I can hardly keep up. So basically, all of the land I have taken is pretty useless. But once I have that all under my control, I can actually produce stuff. Oh, you'll be smashing it once that happens. Um, yeah. Absolutely. I need more. It's just hard deciding what to take. Research wise, it's always chaos. Which is at that point where we need to just finish off. We're 52% in favor. If we get GB out of the war, it'll be. Plane sailing through Africa, and we'll probably have it sorted, and then you won't have your French issues anymore. Or Yugoslav, because I guess this is still the Yugoslav War, isn't it? It is. No, 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 no. We separate pieced them out, and then France made a new war, but it kept mm. the same name. No, I don't think so. Because I, I think we were at war with Yugoslavia, took them out, then the, uh, um, the French joined. Then we, then Japan joined us, and then the France, uh, Fran the French joined the Allies. So you guys, it's still the same. It's just chaos. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. And I, wow, I lost 150 men now. Holy shit. Well, I've got a million extra manpower because I just made all adults serve. <laughs> okay. I just researched something, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Excellent. That's an army built. I just lack artillery a bit. Yeah. If you have arms, spare artillery. My men. No, I artillery. do lack artillery. I do have a lot of infantry equipment, but no artillery. I'm the same way. I'm gonna switch some factories over to do artillery now instead of guns. Because then I could arm a lot of men. Uh, I mean a lot. I've just got 170,000 uh, going. I need. I probably have guns for a million men. Okay. Yeah, a lot. But I need tongues down. I'll trade it from the Soviets, who totally aren't fighting all my allies at the moment. <laughs> yes, we know how it works. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, we're fighting your faction at the moment. Totally, you can buy our gear to build weapons. Well, you're technically helping them as well, because they, get, they trade your capacity, your civilian factory capacity. Uh, they can use it to build stuff. They can. So when are we going to declare war on them? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be able to invade Britain anytime soon, but... 
Not that I could really do anything else. To I be need a lot more men, and I need your men as well if I'm going to try and defeat these guys. But I can't even garrison my land. This is terrible. What a men. I am. It just takes so long. <laughs> I have tons of horsemen garrisoning my stuff, but. Get old horsies. Let me see the resistance. Oh, it's so bad in France. And it's part because Italy has, has all of this land control, but I don't... Like, why should I help out Italy? <laughs> exactly. They, I, don't, I don't get anything out of it. Except ending the episode. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, guys, <laughs> thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.